Prior to entering a mine to do mine rescue work, it is imperative to do a briefing with teams about the tasks to be accomplished. They should be done before each team enters the mine and should be given to all team members involved. The briefing should be done orally and the briefing material should be read from the plan that's been formulated and approved by MSHA, state and miners representatives if available. The plan should specify detailed information about the task to be performed and the sequence in which the steps are to be performed. After the briefing is given, the team should have an opportunity to ask questions or request clarifications. This should be done to ensure that everyone understands the plan and the task to be accomplished. Teams should be provided with a mine map or a map of the affected area of the mine and section or area maps that are at least a scale of 1 inch equals 100 feet. This will allow team members to document conditions and items they find on the map and preserve the information for future reference. The map should also show areas that have been previously explored, accurate information of the conditions of ventilation controls, and other known items such as gases encountered, the location and extent of water accumulations, and roof conditions. Teams should also be brought up to date on the analysis of gas samples that have been collected and the safety factors that have been established to allow for entry into the area. As teams proceed into the area assigned, they should constantly update the command center on their location, the conditions observed, and the progress of achieving the work to be performed. Depending on the type of tracking and communication systems available at the mine, it may be possible for the command center to be in constant communication with the teams as they explore or do their work. If teams are working in by a fresh air base and the communications directly to the command center are unavailable, teams should continually relay information to the briefing officer in the fresh air base and he should relay the information to the command center as it's provided by the team. Teams will often be accompanied by a member of MSHA's mine emergency unit or by a state mine rescue team member. The role of these team members is to assure the safety of the team gather information for the agencies, and to guarantee preservation of evidence. All team members should be especially aware of the conditions and items encountered and ensure not to disturb evidence which may be valuable to the investigation team. Teams should explore systematically and document all conditions observed on their maps or maintain notes of what they encounter. Accuracy is extremely important and direction of forces such as the direction of damaged ventilation controls should be shown. When performing assigned work, teams are always responsible for their own safety. This includes observing the roof for areas that might be unsafe, testing for gases such as methane, carbon monoxide, and oxygen, and evaluating conditions to ensure that duties assigned will not complicate problems and endanger the team. The team captain should be constantly vigilant in evaluating the work being performed and the surrounding conditions. The map man and team members should assist the captain and volunteer any concerns for discussion. Concerns should be communicated to the command center, and if necessary, teams should withdraw themselves from the area until concerns can be resolved. This is always the decision of the team captain, as responsibility for the safety of the team falls on his shoulders. When teams return to the surface, they should be debriefed by a member of management as soon as possible. The debriefing should include a review of conditions documented on the exploration map, along with sharing information from notes that were taken. It's important that any other information known by the team should be provided at this time. The person doing the debriefing shall convey information obtained to the persons in the command center. All maps and copies of team notes should be maintained by the persons doing the debriefings for reference and use by the investigative teams later. Maps, notes, and other pertinent information turned in by the teams to the person doing the debriefing should be dated, signed, and kept in sequential order. Professionalism in performing duties and maintaining confidentiality is important during a mine rescue operation. Team members should be vigilant in keeping information confidential so that family members, news media, and other interested parties are not exposed to pieces of information obtained from rescue team members who are off duty. If discussions concerning findings, opinions, or plans are held with others while off-site, information will spread quickly and rumors or misinformation will abound. After the event is ended, team members should expect to be interviewed by the accident investigation team. At that time, the opportunity to relay information and opinions will be provided. After being debriefed, teams shall be sent from the mine to rest. They should be given a tentative time at which to return for their next shift team should be rotated out regularly and allowed to have plenty of rest between shifts.